Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Hmm, I wonder where Ben is. Ouch! Who put the rubbish bin here? I'm here, Miss Sarah. Oh, here on the floor. Ouch, my back. I tripped over this bin and went head over heels. Oh my god, are you okay, Ben? Here, let me give you a hand. Careful, careful. Sit down here. Y you alright? Thank you, Miss Sarah. Oh, I guess I will bruise all over tomorrow. Sign. I'm sorry that you tripped over and felt like that. Anyway, you seem so jolly these days. And you just told me you're head over heels, Ben. So, who's the lucky girl? Mm -hmm. the, the, the lucky girl? Huh? What do you mean, Miss Sarah? Oh, my leg. Well, the girl you're head over heels in love with. Is she in this school? Is there anyone I know? Oh, oh, you want to keep it a secret? I promise I won't tell. Just spill the beans. Huh? Anyone you know? How, how come I don't know what you are talking about? I just chipped over the rubbish bin on my way in and fell on my back. Oh, oh I thought I heard you say you're head over heels. This is an expression we use in English to mean that one is deeply and completely in love with someone. Almost like when someone has such dramatic fall that your head was over your feet. In other words, you fell madly in love. Oh, I wasn't aware of that at all. Besides falling on your backside, you can also imagine those athletes doing somersault or tumbling. Your head goes literally over your heels. Yeah, it makes sense now. When one is in love, you might feel that you are over the moon, super elated, and that you feel like jumping and bouncing around. Mm -hmm, maybe? Exactly. Let me give you some other examples. Number one. Tom and Mary met at a Christmas party. They were head over heels in love with each other and are going to get married next month. Number two. She and her husband make an amazing couple. They are head over heels in love and are very supportive of each other. Number three. He is a hopeless romantic. He is always head over heels in love with somebody. The inverted form of this phrase, heels over head, was used to describe a very bad fall, like the one you just had. This idiom changed to head over heels around the late 1700s and came to be associated with falling in love. So, who is she, Ben? Who have you fallen head over heels in love with? I promise I won't tell a soul. Miss Sarah, I came here very excited to record this video with you, but I must say, now my back hurts. Your back hurts? And my arms are sore too. Oh dear, is it that bad, huh? Poor Ben. Yes, poor me. But I'm certainly not in love with this rubbish bin that made me fall like that. Oh, okay. So, no juicy gossip today then? Well, I'll better let you go home and rest. There's no juicy gossip in the first place, Miss Sarah. Now, let's just finish this video because I want to go home and take some Panadol. Bye for now. Okay, okay. Until next time. Bye, Ben.